Hi, uh, David here. Just uh, thinking about a few things. Uh, the Bible is an interesting story, but I think it's a template, not only spiritually, but in a lot of other aspects that aren't literal. And there's things about the Bible that are often overlooked, uh, like the math behind it is quite interesting and I, there's things called uh, geometry or geometry I don't know I can't pronounce it sounds like geometry to me and the other one's isophia I think it's called and that's the Greek one and the other one's uh, Hebrew or something and then there's other languages that you do the same thing where you know like Roman numerals um, where the letters mean numbers well other languages, like Hebrew, started with 22, I believe, foundation letters, and there was no vowels, so, and I don't even think there were spaces before, so that, that must have been hard to translate, and I think it goes back, like, so many thousand years, but the thing is, it's, uh, like I said, a template, and this is basically, the way I see it, like, the word logos, whatever, it's it's uh, it's really well made, but it's not something that is like you know the end all be all. It's a template. So the teachings of Christ, or you know, the way stuff like that is, it works, and it's not an easy path, but it's it's very rewarding, uh, and that's just one aspect of it. Historically, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's true or not. It's it's inspiring and like that's that's good. But uh, back to the math now. The words and the lettering and all that, how many letters and things like that, they all have little numbers that like for instance, uh, you know, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then it goes uh, 10, 20, 30, blah, 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 100, blah, 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 but anyway, and each letter uh, uh, is assigned a number, and that's how they would calculate things. So a lot of these words were proven to be, uh, quote-unquote, true, because uh, mathematically they were formulas, so they were, they were sound. And some of the hidden mysteries, or I call them hidden mysteries, but they're just stuff that you gotta search and well, this is what I found was that um, like, it, it, when you start calculating things you find a lot of uh, uh, interesting stuff like the number 543 or 345 because uh, a lot of things mirror it's just that's the way it is not always but a lot of them do and uh, their shadow properties. I think that's what the mirror is, a shadow property, but, you know, I don't mean it in, like, uh, anything other than just mirror. But, uh, yeah, so what I found was the 3, 4, 5 is, uh, you know, Pythagoras, you know, uh, he had that, uh, the triangle with a 3 by 4 by 5. Now those are very important, and they go either way because it's just angles of a triangle. And uh, what it gives you is, uh, like say, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, there's a thing called lowest common denominator. And the lowest common denominator is what you get when you divide things. And uh, you try to get the smallest ratio. Like a ratio is like, you know, how you figure out a percentage same thing ratio and uh, 3 4 5 is like uh, a very key number so when you add 3 4 5 plus 5 4 3 you get 8 8 8 and uh, that's another number um, assigned for I don't know how to pronounce it but Jesus you know uh, it's kind of funny because some of these things are lost in translation like uh, you know no disrespect it's it's still a very interesting story, and I'm still learning, but, like, for instance, the letter J is about 
five or six hundred years old. You know, so the English alphabet only had 25 letters prior to that. And then I thought, well, what's this number 26? And then you get into uh, Yahweh or something like that, you know, Y-H-W-H, I don't know, something like that, because there's no vowels. I pronounce it Yahweh because that's just the way I see it. Uh, it could be an algorithm, like you have water here, or like Bible is basic construction before leaving Earth. But this thing sometimes to remember things. But Yahweh, when you add the uh, Gematria, it adds to 26. And uh, 26 is interesting because it's made out of four letters, the uh, Yahweh, and the symbols, when you pile them on top of each other, um, they draw something and it looks like a man. It's kind of cool, you know, just a little thing. You know how, like, other languages other than English or, you know, they use symbols. And, well, I found that uh, a lot of the Hebrew writing or re resembles uh, angles within something, so I started putting these numbers together and crunching them down to lowest all denominators and all that common denominators. And then you get these ratios. And, uh, like, for instance, you have known Jesus Christ is a 3 for 5 ratio. You know, so... Then you start wondering, well, what's it building? And uh, I start doing the different math. And for a long time, it, it took me to... Because not only do you have to uh, reach this information in your head, but you have to go through it in your heart too in order to, I don't know, just use it, eh? And uh, what happened was, I started drawing it. it, it turned out to be a flower of life. And, and I was like, wow. And then I started doing more research and more research and you find out that these things are connected to um, zero, um, I don't know what it's called, but there, there's so much going on, like connected with Fibonacci, connected with binary, connected with uh, uh, doubling, you know, like one plus uh, one, two, four, eight, you know, that's binary, but one, three, five, seven, or one, three, five, eight, thirteen, I don't know, something like that. But it goes on, that's Fibonacci, and they're connected, and... Uh, it's amazing once you see the numbers and try to piece it together it's it just it's entertaining but I don't know if it's useful I just find it it, it helps you pull back from uh, I guess a, a, a focus of fear or uh, expectation and it helps you to see something that only you can see because you're looking, but uh, what I saw, like, uh, it, it started doing all uh, amazing things, like, just the calculations all too tied in, and then I started studying the number 19, and I found all this information about, like, uh, you start going into uh, the Quran, and you start doing the number thing, because they have the same thing, like I said, with Gematria and, and uh, Isophia. And then you learn more, and you're like, whoa, this, this thing is really interesting. And then the, the story becomes not so literal. It, it still is, to an extent, because, you know, that's your roots. But the higher up you go in, in the dimensions, you start seeing things uh, beyond the self, beyond uh, fear or expectation. And you just, you, you become in tune with your higher self, and uh, it's good. But uh, it's not easy, and I don't know what to say. It's just, uh, it's cool. So anyway, I got to the, the number 19, and I thought, whoa, okay, and this is where it ends. And, and then all of a sudden, I entered the 20th, and something changed in me over the next couple months once I entered the 20th. It was just uh, an amazing thing. Like, I started gaining access to more of my life, my memories, and like so many good things that, that were there the whole time, I just wasn't able to 
can like visualize, hear it, see it, and, and just just you know be there when I'm thinking. And now I, I can to an extent, and, and it's very nice. And it's it's no longer uh, any judgment, any fear, or anything like that. But there there is something that I uh, that helps is just I always try to try to be true to myself and uh, once in a while I, I absorb some bad habits or negativity but I usually correct myself before I make a mistake or go against the way I am but I'm not perfect I fuck up and it's good to fuck up because sometimes life's biggest fuck ups the remote the most rewarding accomplishments to overcome